Now with more on Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, the two announcing their split. Yeah, after 12 years together, two years of marriage, six children, the power couple is getting divorced. And here's a look back at their relationship. Their love story began on set, starring in the blockbuster Mr. and Mrs. Smith, while Brad Pitt was married to Jennifer Aniston. What is wrong with you? You're what's wrong with me. Swirling speculation about an onset romance created a tabloid meltdown. In March of that year, Aniston filed for divorce. At the time, Brad Pitt denying to Diane Sawyer that his relationship with Angelina Jolie was to blame. Did Angelina Jolie break up your marriage? No. Everyone says she's a homewrecker. It's a good story. Just a few months later, the pair went public, posing for the cover of W Magazine, depicting themselves as a happy couple with kids. Jolie, who was already a mom to adopted son Maddox, later adopted daughter Zahara from Ethiopia. And in 2006, the couple had their first biological child, Shiloh. By 2008, the couple adopted second son, Pax, and Jolie gave birth to twins, Vivian and Knox. I wake up every day, you know, just the happiest mommy, and I'm so lucky. Jolie talked to George in May 2014 about whether she and Brad would ever get married. I think the important thing is that whenever we do it, that the kids do have a great time. Tying the knot just three months later in a family affair at their chateau in France, her veil designed by all six kids with colorful drawings, and Jolie changing her name legally to Jolie Pitt. It was an amazing day, and uh, I think there's, 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 uh, there's an added security that comes with it. You know my reason. The couple's last film together, 2015's By the Sea, directed by Jolie, depicted a husband and wife with their marriage on the rocks. You resist happiness. Don't quote some book and try you to analyze it. You don't resist happiness. Life. Turning out to be a foreshadowing for Hollywood's most glamorous couple. So here to get into it is Larry Hackett. He's the former editor of People magazine. You covered them for years and years. Mm -hmm. Do you think it was just very different priorities? I don't think it was very different priorities. You know, th there's a way that celebrities break up. Usually it's a joint statement together. We love each other. It's amicable, but we've gone our separate ways, which is what Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston did when they split 11 years ago, 12 years ago. That didn't happen this time. This has all the earmarks of being a much rougher kind of breakup. When you have someone issue a statement, one of the parties, and saying, I'm doing this uh, for the health of the family, Mm. That is a That's cannon a shot across. What are they across. saying when they say the health of the family? They're saying better be careful what's coming next. That's what they're saying. They're Yikes. saying we better settle this thing. And also asking for sole custody of six children. Mm -hmm. That's not a good sign out I of the gate. It, and, the that's six that, children. and that's to the press. Can you imagine what's going on privately? And then he said, "This is all about the kids," which is his code for saying, "I'm not going to give up without a fight." Well, no, it means I'm going to. I, I, I'm going to fight for my kids. Absolutely. But, dude, I don't think either one of them really want them want to get um, good nasty because if it does, would that affect their careers? You raise a very good point. No couple that I can think of in recent history has been burnished by being together. Both of their reputations have definitely risen by being together. Mm -hmm. So, again, that may not be front of mind right now, but if this becomes super nasty and it becomes in, in public and dragged out, it's not good for both of them. What do you see next steps? I see cooler heads prevailing, and I see lawyers and representatives of both sides saying, how can we settle this without, you know, collateral damage to the children, to ourselves, and to our careers, and to what we really want to do. She really wants to be a humanitarian, do her thing. He clearly wants to stay in Hollywood and do his thing. Um, you know, Hollywood is a very forgiving place mm -hmm. in the community. On the other hand, I don't think anybody wants to see wreckage. I think people want to remember this marriage as being a wonderful thing with six children um, and people who try to better the world. And let's try to preserve that, even though the two people who are at the top of it are no longer together. I agree with that. I agree with that. Larry Hack Thank you so very much for your insight, as always.